Our new release is iOS 14. Well, that brings us to this year. We're doing more on our iPhones today than ever before, starting with the home screen, the app library. It's a new space at the end of your home screen pages that automatically organizes all your apps in one simple and easy to navigate view. Next, let's turn to widgets. To start, they're more beautiful and data rich, and we're introducing different sizes so you can choose one that best fits your needs. They now come in a variety of sizes, so you can pick just the right level of information for each one. The smart stack, I'm just gonna tap it and drop it here. With the smart stack, I can easily swipe through widgets to pick just the one I want for the moment. So that's widgets on the home screen. Next, we're also bringing picture and picture to iPhone to start playing a show. Now check this out. When I swipe to go home, the video automatically goes into picture and picture right over the home screen. Another iconic experience that's getting a major update is Siri. For example, if you say open Safari, Siri pops up the bottom of the screen and instantly launches the app. Or if you ask for information, like the weather, results appear at the top of the screen, just like a notification. Now, this is especially great when there's information you want to reference on screen. For example, you could ask Siri to add to your grocery list. So that's the new Siri design. To tell you more about how we're making Siri smarter than ever, I'll hand it off to Yael Garden. Another way Siri helps is with communication, like sending messages. This year, you can now ask Siri to send an audio message, and Siri will start recording. Another popular way to send messages with your voice is using dictation. Keyboard dictation uses the same speech recognition as Siri. And leveraging the power of the neural engine, we are now able to run dictation on device. When communicating with someone in another language, Siri can help with translations. It is designed to be the best and easiest to use app for conversations, and it can work completely offline, keeping your conversations private. You can translate your text and voice between any combination of these 11 languages, and just turn the phone to landscape to open conversation. Translate will make communicating between languages easier than ever before, connecting people in new ways. Next up, messages. We're introducing a new way to stay connected with your most important conversations with Memoji, and groups. To tell you more, here's Stacy Lysak. First, let's get started with conversations. We are introducing a new way to let you stay connected to your most important conversations by letting you pin them at the top of your list so you can always get to them. And you can see messages as they come in with a beautiful animation on the pin. Next, Memoji. There are over one trillion ways to customize your identity with Memoji. In iOS 14, we're adding even more ways to create your look with over 20 new hair and headwear styles to let you reflect your hobby, profession, and personality. We've also added something that's even more relevant today, face coverings. And we're adding more age options too. And emoji stickers. Last, let's chat about groups. We're adding inline replies that let you reply directly to a specific message. You can view replies in the full conversation or you can view them as their own thread so you can focus in on the specific topic. To make it even more clear who a message was meant for, we're introducing mentions. With mentions, you can just type someone's name to direct a message to them. And now you have the ability to only be notified when you're mentioned in the group conversation. And check out the top of this conversation. We have an all new design for how groups appear. It lets you see all the members of your group where the most recently active people are shown largest. Inside the conversation, you see group members' photos around the image. Of course, it looks great as a pin. You know who's most recently commented in the group because their photo will appear around the outside of the pin. And that's what's coming to messages in iOS 14. Next, let's take a look at features that help us while we're out and about. We have a new set of features that will help us explore the world again, starting with maps. Our new map finished rolling out across the U.S. earlier this year and brought with it better navigation and far richer detail for roads, pedestrian paths, land cover, and more. The new map also offers more accurate information for places and allows us to build incredible features like look around. In iOS 14, we're adding things that will make it easier for people to find places they love and help them get to where they're going in ways that are better for the environment. To tell you more, I'll hand it off to Meg Frost. 
First, let's talk about finding great places. We have millions of people coming to Maps every day to discover great new places. In iOS 14, the Maps team to offer amazing guides. Guides for great places to eat, shop, meet friends, or explore in cities around the world. Our most requested, it's cycling. We're adding a dedicated cycling option to Maps, which allows users to ride their bike along bike lanes, paths, and roads. Maps takes elevation into account to let you know if you're in for a challenging uphill workout or a leisurely flat ride. You know if you have a steep passage coming up or if you'll need to carry your bike up the stairs. We're also introducing EV routing. Our Maps is going to help eliminate range anxiety. With iOS 14, Maps will track your current charge and factor in things like elevation and weather to automatically add charging stops along your route. And those are just some of the great new features coming to Apple Maps in iOS 14. And now, on to CarPlay, which has transformed the driving experience for iPhone owners by being the smarter, safer way to use the apps you love in your car. We have some great updates for iOS 14. First up, we have new wallpaper options, perfect for the car. And we're adding support for new categories of CarPlay apps, parking, EV charging, and quick food ordering. In addition to this, rethinking car keys. I'm excited to introduce a digital version of car keys. Now you can leave your keys at home and unlock and start your car with your iPhone. Now, let's turn to the App Store. Today, no matter what you want to do, there's an app for that. But what if you don't have the app you need right when you need it? Like when you need to pay for parking? Well, now there's an app clip for that. Ooh, look, a new coffee shop. There's an app clip for that. Your friend sends you a message with a print you like. There's an app clip for that. Looking for somewhere to eat nearby? App clip. Very health conscious of you. Hey, there's a scooter. Let's take it for a spin. Yup, app clip. An app clip is a small part of an app. It's light and fast and easy to discover, so you can quickly get what you need right when you need it. A part of an app using Xcode and the full power of the SDK. To ensure that they launch quickly, they'll need to be less than 10 megabytes in size. And that's app clips, immediately discoverable. And that's iOS 14. It's a huge release that transforms the core experience of iPhone with redesigned widgets right on the home screen and a new way to organize your apps with the app library. It adds incredible updates to some of the most popular apps with powerful improvements to messages and maps and introduces a whole new way to tap into apps with app clips. Our new release, iOS 14.